P-O-E. Power over Ethernet. What is PoE or power over Ethernet? PoE is a method used to power equipment over a network cable such as a standard Cat5 or Cat6. Normally, data flows across the Ethernet cable. With PoE, we add DC power to be able to power the device plugged in at the end of the cable. What are the different types of PoE? You may sometimes see the letters I, E, E, E. This stands for the Institute of Electrical and Electronic Engineers. So let's look at the different types of PoE. We have 802.3 AF PoE, which is also called active or standard PoE. We have 802.3 AT PoE, which is also called PoE Plus or High Power PoE. And of course we have Passive PoE, also called 24 volt PoE, 15 volt PoE, non-standard PoE or non-compliant PoE. Why are 802.3AF and 802.3AT special? With 802.3AF and 802.3AT, the power sending unit performs a detection to make sure there is a valid client plugged in before the power to the port is turned on. This is a safety feature to avoid damaging a non-POE device that may be plugged into the port by accident. With passive PoE, the port is powered up all the time. If, for instance, you plug a laptop into a passive PoE port, it may damage the laptop's network port. 802.3AF particulars. The voltage range is 42 volts DC to 57 volts DC. Power is 15.4 watts maximum. There are two different power pinouts defined by the spec, mode A and mode B. Mode A, power on pins 1 and 2, voltage plus, and 3 and 6, voltage minus. Mode B, power on pins 4 and 5, voltage plus, and 7 and 8, voltage minus. There are different power classes defined by the spec, class 0, is up to 15.4 watts, which is the default. Class 1 is up to 4 watts. Class 2 is from 4 watts to 7 watts. And class 3, 7 watts to 15.4 watts. The power sending unit performs a detection to determine if there is a valid 802.3AF client connected and it won't apply power to the port unless there is a valid client connected. 802.3AT particulars. The voltage range again is 42 volts DC to 57 volts DC. The power is 30 watts maximum or two pairs or 60 watts maximum four pairs. There are two different power pinouts defined by the spec, mode A and mode B. Pa mode A, power on pins one and two voltage plus and three and six voltage minus. Mode B, power on pins 4 and 5 voltage plus, and 7 and 8 voltage minus. Note, for 60 watts, use all four pairs. There are different cl power classes defined by the spec. Class 0 is up to 15.4 watts, which is the default. Class 1 is up to 4 watts. Class 2, 4 watts to 7 watts. Class 3, 7 watts to 15.4 watts, and Class 4, 15.4 watts to 30 watts. The power sending unit performs an intelligent handshake with a valid 802.3AT client. 
the power sending unit reports its class to the client and the client may change its operating parameters based on how much power is available. Power is not applied unless a valid client is connected. Passive PoE particulars. The voltage range is 12 volts DC to 57 volts DC. Power is 50 watts maximum on two pairs or 100 watts maximum on four pairs. With the two pair, power is on pins 4 and 5 voltage plus and 7 and 8 voltage minus. On four pairs, power is on pins 3, 4, 5 and 6 voltage plus and 1, 2, 7 and 8 voltage minus. Note. Because passive PoE has no standard, different manufacturers implement different custom pinouts. The pinouts above are most common. The power sending unit sends PoE power as soon as it powers up. The user needs to make sure that the client is acceptable or they may see smoke. PoE compatibility. 802.3 AF devices will work with 802.3 AT power sources. 802.3 AT devices may power up the 802.3 AF power sources, but they may have limited functionality because they will see the power source as a class zero power source or a maximum of 15.4 watts. 802.3 AF devices will work with 48 volts DC passive PoE power sources. 802.3 AT devices may power up with 48 volts DC passive PoE power sources, but they may have limited functionality because they will see the power source as a class zero power source. Again, with a maximum of 15.4 watts. PoE terms, end span. This typically refers to a PoE switch. Mid span. This typically refers to any common PoE injectors. PSE. This is the power sending unit or PoE source. PD. This refers to a powered unit or client unit. This is the device that has been powered over PoE.